Hi friends, my name is Femi Biwoye. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to upload a file from back end to front end. Previously in our tutorial 11, I showed you how to save a record of your product into the database and also how to upload the file. Um, but if you checked very well, the document you upload from the back end is being saved at the back end section as well. So let's assume I want to add some product, I'll call it a cappella. Something about a cappella. And we have amount to 300. We have 22 availability in stock. So I'm, I'm going to choose a file now and let us know something. This is the back end and we are expecting the file we want to upload to come to this place. And this is our controller that is handling what we currently want to upload. So this shows that um, our file is being uploaded at in, inside the upload folder, which is this at the back end. And also, we can as well um, add something like this. Can as well have something like this, but either way, it will still it, it, it will still be uploaded into this particular folder. So what we want is for it to be uploaded at the front end. So let's give it a try with the new addition we just did now to see where and how our file will be uploaded. So I'll just click on upload. Go to open stream. No such directory exists. Admin upload. Um, let me remove what I just did. I refresh. Good. It went well. It went well. This is our file. And so now I want to show us how to upload from the back end to um, from the back end to the front end, whereby. Instead of our file being uploaded there, which is still at the director of the backend, we want it to be uploaded on our general image folder so that we can easily access it from the front end. And also, we'll be creating our our, the, our code will be creating a folder by itself. But for this example, I will create a general folder which we'll be using. So, um, to get started with, let me comment this out. So, I need to um, confirm if the directory we want to use exists. So I'm going to create an alias now. I'm going to call it from end because uh, we do have a um, web at web. But I'll create a uh, web front just to be um, to be sure. I'll show as well we can also create the alias before this can be before this can work. Project good. So we we'll see if this particular directory exists. If it does not exist reader, then it should create a directory for us. Mm. Web front. Remember, we still haven't created uh, the alias for that.
So we need to set the mode. The default is 0777, but we're still gonna write it out. Seven and we'll set it to true. Yeah. So um yes, if it does not exist. Good. So now let's create our uh, image image name. We'll say image name is equal URL shall concatenate um, with um, image our image file our image file base name i'm gonna use the base name the name of the file you're uploading else i might just use the timestamp so that um, we can have a randomized um, name but let me just take the base name for this example we're just doing so base name concatenated with the extension so we want the extension to be added automatically we're not converting the image to a particular extension we'll be using any extension that is being uploaded either any image extension that extension Good. so now what since we've now uh, saved the directory and the name of the image into this image name so now let's now create a file we'll say image file save it and we'll say image name So now we've been able to create this. Now let's create our alias which we added there. So for us to do that, we need to go to our common because before we be able to communicate um, from front end to the back end, we should be able to add those alias at the back end uh, in a common folder rather. So we'll go to our config and params local. So here we we'll had the set alias. So I will say at web front directory name, yeah. Um, we'll be going to um, two step back, meaning from this particular place our file is loaded from. So we'll go to one step back, one step back, then two step back, which is this. So before we start moving forward, so this um, is one step backward and this is another step backward meaning we are taking going to previous um folder so now let's go to our product and see if we have a product remember we do not have any um um okay we have an empty product folder here let's remove it Good. We don't have any proof for that, so hopefully this should be created. Let's see, dance key. You see, something like that. So let's say, um, three thousand. Availability in stock, new brand, um, native, 
and store colossus 30 and we'll choose a far so let's just pick a far and let's create good our file has been created this is the image name remember we're using base name so let's go to our um, directory and see good we now have our image created at the front end we simply so can just access it at the front end easily let's go to our home page and see if we can easily uh, access those images um this is which one did we have now that's okay good so now let's try to access the image mm, go to our view front end Site index. So let me search for the image featured items. Okay, we have it in products. Yeah. So now the image is going to be like this. So we we'll need to add our PHP. So we're just going to easily access it. Since our image is already at the front end, so we don't need to put web from there. We just need to use a web that will say images, then product, then our image name, which we will now need to add there. Not be model. Model. Dot image. So. Good. Now our image has been displayed. Remember, these two images were not loaded at the front end; they were loaded at the back end. So whatever image that we had from the back end subsequently will be loaded properly, and we will not have difficulty on pointing to our image at the back end instead of reloading it from the front end directory. So thank you. See you on next tutorial.